Hello, welcome to Jody Giant Veg. I'm just going to do a little update for you. What's going on in and around the... Uh, sorry about that. In and around the polytunnel in the plot. Um, struggling to keep on top of everything. The weather's been lovely. Um, and I've been working a lot. So things have been... Well... <laughs> the... Uh, the weeds have been left to themselves, let's just say. Um, I've tried to get on top of them a bit, but unfortunately I'm, I'm fighting a losing battle. But I'm, like I say, I'm working on it, keeping on top of it. Um, the giant onions, yes, I know there's loads of little weeds in the tops of these pots, but I really don't want to um, pull these weeds out in case they affect the tops of the roots. These uh, onions are now 20 inches around. And they're growing just over an inch a week. Maybe it's an inch and a half a week, so... I'm thinking by the time I get to Malvin or Harrogate or wherever, I don't, don't know if I'm going to Harrogate. Um, it should be over the £10 mark anyway. That'll be for a local show, I believe. Um, September-ish. Giant carrots. Um, not looking too bad. I've had a couple of little disasters. Um, this giant parsnip I've had in this one, it looks like it's going to seed, if you ask me. The centre's starting to lift up but it's got loads of subsidiary growth and side shoots and everything like that so i'm just going to leave it and see what happens with that um again another carrot giant carrot i'm not going to unearth them uh, to show you just the the all grown nicely actually the, the uh, they're not looking too bad i've had to put these um fleece sheets up because the temperatures in here the sun was just absolutely especially the onions scorching them so i've stuck these two sheets up for to try and deflect some of the sun's rays and um, so that's not too strong and um, the condo potatoes all the tops are getting a bit big on them now and they've all kind of collapsed but they're still growing and um, i've been foliar feeding these with a, uh, a moonshine sunshine and um a liquid seaweed uh, and the and the love it. There's a potato poking its head out there actually. I don't know what. Yeah, it's quite a big potato. Um let's just hope there's something joined onto it underneath. And I think there's another one over there somewhere under there. You can see it's here. Um need to be careful though. Yeah, there's a there's a big one under there attached to this other little one here and it's, I think that one I had a scrap about the other week and that one's also attached to another big one underneath it. So fingers crossed I'll end up with a decent potato I'm looking forward to the unveiling of that. Um, as you're well aware if you watched my last video, the, these two um, long leaks have went extremely long. Right up and up and up and up and up and at the top is the seed head so they both went to seed, they're both knackered. I'm going to leave them still, um, just for fun. Not really fussed about them to be honest. I'm just going to step across here. Oh. Um, the giant parsnips in the ground, as you can see the top, they have left the top exposed because um, it was starting to get a slightly soft, not soft, but a little bit um, of a squidge on it and I didn't know if it was starting to rot or not so when I've been watering now I keep well away from there I just water surrounding areas um, and that's about that with that Hopefully it's a grass but um, it's it's looking quite big that's a compared to my hand and if you think my hand's like what six seven inches across it's definitely about the same so it's it's getting big and um, the leaks in the auto pot as you can see they're really starting to look decent now um, the, one of them's went to seed somewhere down here I'm not sure which one it is might be this one yeah um, I split it because I thought it might have been a caught flag but by the look of it that's sending up a seed head and the likelihood is if that one goes to seed they'll all go to seed all the way up but I mean they're, look, they're not looking bad and um, they're looking quite good so I'll leave them in for the minute. Everything that goes to seed are is no good. I chuck them over uh, to my neighbour's garden. Not to be a, a bit of a bugger or anything. I just do it because um, he's got chickens and the chickens eat them. There's another carrot in the ground there. Um, 
I mean, they love the foliar feed, I'm not going to lie. Absolutely thrive on it. Um, there's plenty of tops and stuff on there that grown really well. Um, here's another giant parsnip which has kind of pushed itself away out the ground. I'm just going to try and get across here. Oh, sorry about that. As you can see, it's kind of pushed itself out the ground again and again. That's got a huge top, and I've just left it um, coming out. And there's another giant carrot there. But yeah, these leeks are looking quite nice. They've got about 15 flags on them or so, um, so they're not looking too bad. Maybe it's 18 flags. Um, I couldn't resist. I had to pull a carrot. I've pushed it back in, and the top's looking like it's dying a bit. So I'm going to take that back out. And but there you go. Here's one of the tester carrots I pulled out for these um, sweet carnal variety. I snapped the taproot off, but as you can see, they're, they're not too bad. They've got a good another six weeks growing, so they're going to be a perfect size, I think. And they, they haven't split, which I thought they may. So I've got quite a few to go out there, and they really react well to the foliar feed as well. Long um, parsnips. They're, they're doing all right, like, and again, they react really well to a, a foliar feed. These are just going to be going to my little local shows, a bit of fun, um, for the long root section. There's never normally many long roots in it, so I'm going to stick one of these in. These carrots, I'm hoping that I get a really long carrot for, uh, for the long root section, um, which should be fun. Yeah, I've just started weeding this one, and I've, I've weeded me this one. And I keep coming back with the hoe, um, but I've just been shoring these up. This one's a tiny plant, it's got no length and it's not moving at all. It's a little stocky plant, so I don't think I'm going to get anything off this. But I've left this one on, this marrow, right at the base of the plant. And I'm going to leave it there, and what will be with that will be... I don't know what else will happen with that. Um, over here, again I've got another Dale Toten. Uh, marrow. I've been banking it up with the soil, which has been uh, fertilised with chicken manure pellets. Um, so yeah, I need to let that grow another at least week and a half, two weeks before I start setting some marrows on it. And the same with this one. Yeah, it's just a tiny little little marrow plant. Now going on really. Strawberries. So oh, I've been inundated with strawberries. I don't know if you follow my Instagram at Jody Giant Veg. Um, I've been showing you some of the. The yields of the berries and strawberries I've been getting. Look at these red currants. They're just pro prolific. There is just have a little scoot about and then you can do, as you can just see, they're just there's hundreds of them. Thousands of them actually. Um so it's very nice. Got raspberries, gooseberries. I mean I've never had gooseberries like this before. Never. The gooseberries have been absolutely mental this year and, and I've picked thousands off this bush already um, I fed them with Mills nutrients this year last year I didn't and they, they went absolutely crazy I've, uh, I've just got my whole set out over there which was spraying uh, a marrow plant so I'm gonna go over and turn that hose off now chuck this uh, chuck this carrot next door for me you made chickens so we we'll both share a tap. And be nice and clip his back on for his little hose there. But yeah, he's got his chickens over there. He's got one of my leeks in, which went to seed. So all I do is I just <laughs> chuck my stuff over there and he feeds his chickens with it. Um show leeks. <laughs> These of uh, these thin ones, I don't know if you've seen them the other week. They've all gone to seed and they're, they're absolutely crap. They were they were just gonna go in the compost heap, but I planted one anyway, just for a bit of fun. But all these are they're starting to crack on now. Um they're not looking a, not looking bad at all. They're all about 10, 12 inches around. I suspect that some of them are gonna burst or be long or what have you. Probably go to seed. But there's nothing you can do about it, really. It's been one of them years. But I'm happy with that progress so far. I mean, it's, it's the, the beautiful leeks, the Cumbrian 
within the next week or so I'm going to have to start spraying for thrip before I start getting any signs of it because I think the uh, the insecticide I've used has probably worn off by now but yeah the, the scaffolding pipe fits in here um, for polytunnels and stuff and the, the leaks are bigger than this 64mm pipe now so I'm not sure how how big that is around about 10 12 inches or what have you I've got no idea but um yeah they they're all they're all cracking on as long as I get a decent set of three for the bench I'll be happy I guess I'm not gonna be beating the world this year um with me show leaks I'll be honest I, I hate growing show leaks it's a bloody nightmare all this was just absolutely full of weeds like this section is Believe it or not, this is about eight or nine days not weeded. How ridiculous is that? I had a week, solid week at work and I just couldn't get away. So and this whole section here was the same. So I've been uh, I've been battling to win back my areas, should I say. But the, I mean, they're growing a good foot and a half a week. Uh, yeah, every two or three days they're growing about a foot and a half these plants now. These marrow plants. Um, so... I've got a good chance of getting a decent marrow this year. I've, I've planted enough. I've, I've, I've whoop, getting a bit of a stutter there. I've got nine to go out this year. Nine plants, and I've just constantly, constantly got to go over and over and over this place with the hoe, trying to cut them out, kill all the little weeds. But I've got those two are grown up in this direction, and this one has grown down in that direction, and I'll set the marrow. When, when this one gets about the top, I'll set a marrow on the end of them. And the same with these, when these get up here, I'll set a marrow on the edge of them. Same with this one, up to here, these two down. And likewise, I'll be setting marrows on them too. Um, I was supposed to be building this polytunnel this year. I've got the cover and everything. It's just too late in the year now, and putting a, a winter on the cover is going to be pointless. I'm not going to grow anything in that this year, so I'll get it ready. I'll get, I've got all the covered and everything, so it'll be done and dusted, ready for next season. Um, I'm, but like I say, I'm not going to put the cover on quite yet. Um, it's basically a waste. Winter is quite... Um, the winter is quite... Well, it takes its toll on the polytunnel covers and stuff like that, so a lot of people take their covers off over the winter and um, let the, the rain soak the beds and everything so I'm not going to put a cover on that this year I'll have it all ready rocked uh, door on everything ready for it to receive its cover for next season where I'll be putting the big auto pot system in it I should have had it in this year I just haven't had the opportunity and it is what it is I was going to be growing giant cucumbers um, I was going to try a cantaloupe melon and just other things take over um, I've just taken over a football team um, which has taken a lot of my time um, a lot of organising stuff like that so I'm just cracking on with that really as well as trying to break yeah, trying to win things sorry this mare's tail is just an absolute nightmare mare's tail is just getting everywhere i don't know how it's in the top of this just oh, absolute nightmare i hate i hate this stuff um but yeah i mean my onions aren't going to be world beaters but i know there's a lot of people having problems with their onions this year so i'm hoping if i get a one about 10 10 11 pound i'll be over the moon with it i'm way behind so i'm doubting i'm going to get them types of numbers but we shall see, they'll be getting entered into a show uh, local in Newcastle anyway. Um, and the carrots and parsnips, apart from maybe going to seed one or two, all the rest are looking half decent. Potatoes are looking decent, um, and I'm hoping that I'll get over my £100 with my marrow. I might just have a little look, scratch about in this one actually, a little sneak peek. Uh, oh, it's a bit weird. Oh, Jesus. Wow, well, that one, I don't know if you can see it, 
that one looks very interesting. I mean, that's bigger than my hand. Um, already, and it's got one another two months left. That's big. That's gonna be. It's gonna be a funny, um, funny carrot. Oh, I'm not gonna cover that. I'm not gonna take that off again. Don't want to expose the top. But yeah, that's gonna be an interesting carrot to have a look at when the time comes. I'm looking forward to opening that condo pot as well. I've been taking loads of little potatoes off it. I've been like scouting about because the more you take off, the more energy will go to the biggins. So I've like selected like one big one on each plant, I think. Don't hold us to that. There's probably gonna be about 30 potatoes in there. But I've been trying my best to get the little potatoes off. Um and allowing all the energy to go to the big potatoes which I want to keep on there so hopefully fingers crossed I might get a, a big five pound potato maybe it's bigger we shall see I don't know what the target is for that but yeah this one's got us worried I'm pretty sure it's going to go to seed um it is what it is I'll keep growing them nonetheless and the same with uh, all the the leeks the leeks are all starting to grow uh, very nicely now going to be close to the season uh, close to the end of the season soon anyway so keep posted people for all these unveilings um, all the unveilings for the, the, the sweet kernel carrots I'll be doing an unveil um, my long parsnips and carrots I'll be doing videos for that as well and when I'm digging out the parsnips and giant parsnips and carrots um, I'll be doing videos for that and the big reveal for the big potatoes. So yeah, stay, stay tuned. You'll be able to see what's going on here. I'm feeding me, um, me giant onions, which are absolutely flying now. That they, they, they really are. I thought I was so way, way behind and they've really taken off. Um, in my little tank here, looks a bit throffy and a bit minging, but it's not. This is full of... Uh, it, it's got a an additive called mammoth P, which is basically microbes and bacteria, all friendly stuff. Um, as well as I've been feeding Mills Start, um, which is like a great root enhancer. And this is the mammoth P stuff. Um, it's just basically active microbes. And you, you, you put this, you, you can't um, put it in chlorinated water. It's no good. The chlorine just kills the bacteria, whether it be good or bad. Um, there's nothing on the market which can decipher between good bacteria and bad bacteria. So if it kills it, it'll kill it all, um, regardless. There's been some claims. Sorry, just standing that up. There's been some claims before, like of people saying that. There's products that can kill the bad bacteria and leave the good bacteria. It's absolute garbage. Um, unless it's something I've missed out on a new type of technology that can decipher between good bacteria and bad bacteria. A bit like trying to decipher between a good person and a bad person without even meeting them. You're never going to do it. Um, so yeah, chlorine will kill both. So you need to dechlorinate your water. Um, I tend to use a filter, a grow filter, um, which is pretty good. It filters out all the, the chlorine and the hard metals and stuff like that. So I'm getting just what I know what I need. And then I'm feeding them. All these um, are not in any special type of soil. They're not in the soil by mills or anything. They're just in the soil I dug out from uh, the giant carrots and parsnip holes. I just filled nine big air pots up. And basically, I've, I wasn't bothered about the onions this year, and I'm still not, to be honest, but I'll be happy if I can get a half-decent one on the bench. I like filling the benches up, if I'm being honest. Part of it. But I'm hoping I'll get three decent leaks out of that, them lot. And I've got some in here to fall back on. Uh, and the, just the other giant stuff, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all your nice comments and stuff like that. If you want to know anything else, just feel free. Um, write your message, write, write your questions on the comment section um, and I'll reply, I always do. Um, like and subscribe and all that jazz, hit the little bell button 
for future notifications for when I post up new videos. But for me, that's about it from now on. Until next time, I'll see you later.